Chris the drip, I pour it, that Hellcat, I floor it. They was hanging on me, hit the dealership and crushed them. Bank roll too big, got me. What is up guys, it's Upcom Sports here with a new look Denver Nuggets realistic rebuild. This is part one of the series. If you guys want to see a part two, make sure to drop a like on the video. Also, if you're new, make sure to go down, hit the subscribe button with notifications on so you don't miss a video. So if you're new, here are the settings that I have found are the most realistic. These are the ones that I'm going to be using for the new look series. And you guys can look at them, pause them if you would like. Pretty much injuries are on and there's a lot of different twists that make it a lot more realistic. I did lower the free agents a little bit and a little bit of the injury effects. So I've pretty much never done a Nuggets rebuild on my channel. I don't know why. I usually look at the Nuggets and I'm like, they're pretty much built. They're already super young, already really good. But I'm going to give it a try. So the goal is just to make the Nuggets win a championship because they're already pretty much built. They got Michael Porter Jr. They've got Jokic. They got Jamal Murray. Bol Bol, who they stole in the draft. So we're going to see how we can make this team better and always realistic. So I'm also going to be using storylines for the NBA draft if you're new. If you don't know what this is, basically it randomizes some of the overalls and potentials for some of the players. So I'm only going to know what my scout knows. So it's going to make it a lot more interesting, a lot more realistic. And player mentorship is also a new feature in this year's game. So if you don't know what this is, basically younger players are mentored by veterans to learn their badges. So Jokic can learn from a veteran like Miles or Mason Plumlee. Monte Morris can learn from Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray from Monte Morris. Michael Porter Jr. from a guy like Will Barton even. So it's pretty cool. I'll do this every season. And as always, in year one, I'm not going to be making any moves. I just want to see how this new look Nuggets team plays. And this is going to be the rotation. Bobo Bull Bull couldn't really find him any minutes, although I do like him a lot. We're going to send him to the G League because they might do this in real life. Take it easy on him because of his injury concerns. So Nikola Jokic is going to be an all-star for this season. I don't know if he's been an all-star before. I believe it's his first time, so pretty cool. And the MVP is going to be Giannis for the Bucks as he goes off. Zion rookie of the year, Dennis Schroeder six man. Nikola Jokic most improved, of course. There is one you're missing because this is an updated roster. So I don't know. It's an iffy award, but he does get all NBA first team, which makes sense. He put up insane numbers as he almost even averages a triple double, which is insane for a center. But checking out the standings, we did make the playoffs as the sixth seed. We won 50 games and we're the sixth seed. That is how stacked the West is right now. And we'll play the Clippers in the first round. Not the matchup we wanted. But we'll see if we can take them down. But Jokic, we saw his numbers. Jamal Murray, pretty good. Gary Harris is okay. We might trade Gary Harris. Michael Porter Jr., actually pretty bad. But it is his rookie season as he missed his first season. 10th best offense and number three defense. So we were dealt a pretty bad hand right here against the Clippers in round one. We'll see if we can maybe beat them though. Two to one right now, two two, and Malik Beasley goes down. He's a big part of this team. His scoring is insane, his three point shooting. So that might impact us a little bit, but we'll get the defense from Torrey Craig as game five we lose that one was a big one but we do force a game seven and we lose in seven here against the clippers so very tough matchup against paul george and Kawhi. they have two superstars to r1 in Jokic, but maybe next season we can take it all and in the finals it is going to be the clippers and the sixers which usually happens in this roster but the clippers win it all Kawhi finals mvp and in the draft lottery here, I don't think we have our first round pick. I believe the Thunder have it as they do have our pick from the Jeremy Grant trade. So, I mean, we'll see what kind of moves we can make here. So with free agency, we didn't sign anyone, but Paul Millsap is asking for way too much money. He wants 20 mil a season and we're just not going to give that to him. He's 35 and we just don't need him at this point. One move that I do want to make here, though, is trade Will Barton. He's on a two-year deal, basically, but he's making a lot of money for a bench guy. And at this point, we're getting very high in the cap. So we got to trade away some money. We'll trade it for an expiring deal, Tony Snell, and also a first-round pick, which is some pretty good value 
for Will Barton, so we'll try to stack up the first round picks and maybe make a blockbuster trade. Not too many changes here for the Nuggets as we're rolling out the same pretty much team, but Jeremy Grant is going to start at the four without Paul Millsap. Malik Beasley, I did extend on a three-year deal. Pretty cheap, actually, so he'll fill the role of Will Barton. And Jokic is going to be an all-star starter yet again. Two-time all-star. He might be a three-time all-star, but yeah, that's pretty good. And Nikola Jokic, the Joker, is going to win the MVP of the league. This usually happens in 2K, but not this quick as he put up insane numbers for a center. You guys see the numbers. I, he definitely deserves this award as we have the MVP of the league on the team. We made the playoffs, so we're going to be in contention for a championship as RJ Hampton got rookie of the year, Brett Brown, coach of the year, and obviously all NBA first team for him, but he is injured. He might miss the first round, so that might be very disappointing if we don't have him. But checking out the standings, we did finish as the four seed. Again, we had an insane record. We probably could have been the number one seed in the East. Well, we'll play the Warriors in the first round. That is kind of scary. Without Jokic, yeah, he'll miss probably the entire first round. But Jamal Murray did get better. Shooting pretty good from three. Michael Porter Jr., not the best. And Bull Bull was playing for us. So he could definitely fill in that role without Jokic there. But we'll see what happens in the first round. You guys see the vibes here. Bull Bull getting a chance to show what he's made of. He's going to start for us and he's going to get a lot of minutes with Jokic out for the first round. So hopefully he can fill in there. And we lose game one here against the Warriors. They don't have a good big man. So Bull Bull could definitely take advantage. 1-1 one, one here. 2-1. Maybe Jokic comes back. And Jokic is available now. So we will insert him right into the starting lineup. He didn't break his foot or anything. So he should be good to go. And Bobo will come off the bench. I don't know how good he played, but probably played good enough. As we are down in this series, though. So 2-2, Jokic maybe making an impact here as we win two straight. And we're going to a Game 7 in Denver as we pull it out with Jokic back. Malik Beasley with a big game right there. Jokic with 22 rebounds, 11 assists, and a triple-double in this Game 7. In round two with Jokic back, we've got the Houston Rockets and we win game one. Game two, we lose game three in Denver. We also lose Jamal Murray though, is a little bit injured. Three to one, we're down. Okay, this is not good. Jamal Murray's healthy, three, two. Come on, Jokic, three, three. Okay, another game seven back to back. And we pull it out again, coming back from three, one down as Harden with 30 points in this one. But Jokic, another triple-double, another Game 7 triple-double. He's going off in these playoffs. Yeah, he's... Look at the numbers. Oh, my. He is carrying this team right now. So is Jamal Murray. Nikola Jokic is averaging a triple-double in the first two rounds. As we're playing the Pelicans led by Zion. 1-1 one, one right here. They are the sixth seed, but 2-1. to one. And we are down 3-1 to one to the Zion Pelicans. He's a beast in this game. 3-2. to two. As we have an injury concern right here. Jeremy Grant. So we'll play, I guess, Vanderbilt. And we're going to lose here in 6 to Zion. So Zion versus Jokic. And Zion gets the better of us. They also had RJ Hampton, Brandon Ingram, Daniel Gafford, Lonzo Ball. So it's a pretty good team. What happened over here? Jamal Murray with 24. Jokic, not the best game. And the finals is going to be the Wizards and the Pelicans. Okay, I, I, I don't know about the Wizards, but Zion wins it all and he gets the finals MVP. In the draft lottery this season, we do have our first round pick. So we'll see what we can do with that. We might trade it for some other assets and try to save up assets to make a big trade later. So with our first round pick this season, we are going to take Moses Moody, who was projected in the lottery. So we'll see if he fell to us as a steal. But he's a shooting guard slash small forward, really gifted scorer. So he'll do some good things. And I'm going to try to trade here for a piece that I think could be insane for us. We need some more defense on this team. We need really a good defender. An all defensive team, maybe defender. And that is going to be Robert Covington from the Timberwolves. We're going to see if they want to give him up. Moses Moody, who has 83 potential. So he's a nice young piece for the Timberwolves who are rebuilding. They have not made the playoffs in a while. 
and Robert Covington on a one-year deal. He could lead them and a second round pick. And we were able to sign or trade for Robert Covington. So we're going to play him at the three. Michael Porter Jr. at the four. I think that'll be better for him to match up against fours. And he'll be a floor spacer for us. Same coach, same system. And at the All-Star break, we do have two All-Stars on the team now. Jamal Murray joins Jokic as an All-Star. So pretty cool right there. And the MVP is going to be Russell Westbrook on the Rockets as Isaiah Todd gets Rookie of the Year, Anthony Davis Defensive Player, and Mike D'Antoni Coach of the Year. Jokic found himself on All-NBA second team, so a little bit worse, but still insane numbers for a center. So he's our superstar of the future, still super young, and we're not gonna trade him. Robert Covington, All-Defensive second team, as I mentioned, he, does, he just needed a bigger role on a competitive team, and he went off on defense. Number two seed in the West, finally we get up there. And we'll play the Clippers all oh, in round one. Why? But it looks like they only have Kawhi, so we might have a chance here. Jamal Murray went off in that season. He's finally finding his groove. Michael Porter Jr. was a lot better than in the first two seasons, so I like that from him. Bull Bull, our bench is lit right now, but points per game, we were number one best offense and a average defense. So here is going to be the rotation as all of our guys are getting big minutes and our rotation is only going to be eight men. So we're going pretty thin here as we're trying to beat the Clippers as we lose game one in Denver. Game two, we also lose in Denver. We cannot lose game three. Jamal Murray goes down. Can it get any worse at this point? Monte Morris is going to have to step in as a point guard. And off the bench, we don't really have any talented guards. So we're going to have to play Juan Hernan Gomez. Oh, it's not looking good for us right now. Monte Morris better step up as we are down 3-0 in this series. And it's not looking good. Jokic has to pull it out. Without Jamal Murray, our second best player, we blow them out in LA. Game, what is this, five now? We, this would be a historic comeback. Okay, in Denver. And it looks like we're going to blow them out again. So two straight blowouts. Can we get a third and force a game seven? in LA Kawhi by himself no Paul George and we blow them out for a third straight game game seven now it all comes down to this in Denver we have home court if it's close I'll try to save us we are down five in this game we're gonna get it to Jokic in the post he's our best player spin move and that's a green light makes it a three-point game all right we gotta clamp up here Clippers with the ball they turn it over okay we can run here who's running the floor Michael Porter Jr. for the slam and that's a one-point game now all right we get the rebound we are playing lockdown defense right now Michael Porter Jr. almost fumbled it and he's gonna get some free throws that is just what we needed so Michael Porter Jr. hit both free throws but it's a one-point game why are we double teaming no and they get the slam Montrez Harrell for the dunk by the way, that was not Montrezl Harrell. I messed up, but Jokic again in the post. Can he get the game winner? Can he do it? I already got him mad, and I'm about to make him sick. Flex so much because I ain't never had in the Defense, but Jokic coming through clutch. We'll see what happens. We got to play defense. Jokic, I know defense isn't your best quality, but we get it. Timeout because we don't want them to foul, and that is probably going to do it as we're just going to chuck it up probably gonna win this game checking out the stats for that game seven historic comeback I don't know how I keep coming back in these games I'm literal trash well not trash at this game but I'm not that good at 2k but I don't know I guess the team is just good but Kawhi dropped 27 was not enough Jokic though went off oh my god yeah this kid is insane Monte Morris did pretty good he's doing okay but that is gonna do it does Denver have the best young core ever how far can Jokic take us watch part two to find out but make sure you drop a like leave a comment on the road to 500 subscribers